In a year the National Park Service celebrates its centennial, the Tallgrass Prairie National Preserve marks its 20th anniversary. I've been speaking with some of the people familiar with this preserve and the history associated with it. It's a story that says a lot about who we are and how we relate to each other and to a landscape that many of us simply love. The story is told in a video exploring the creation of the preserve, reflecting on the ways in which Kansans connect to the Flint Hills. This was a working ranch. You know, Mr. Jones came here in 1878 with the idea of building a cattle feeding station. And so you have the ranching legacy as well. That's the beauty about this park. You have the natural and the cultural, and they marry together very well. You know, the people, um, the people on the prairie work hand in hand, and they both affect each other. So, yeah, it's, there's a big story to tell. I think at first, when it was first proposed, this adversarial relationship between the ranchers and the environmentalists, like those could never be the same thing. And that has, I hope, gone away. We have an agreement with the National Park Service that basically recognizes that they own and operate the historic building site. We own the, the rest of the 11,000 acres around it. We operate it together as a, as a partnership. I've always had a deep sense of being centered here and, and feeling comfortable in these hills that, that are so dramatic and so rugged and so harsh at times, but they also have a, a gentle, enduring, big soft blanket kind of quality. Um, it's like a giant lap that you can um, kind of nestle into. I have so many people tell me how much they enjoy coming and going hiking up through the tall grass prairie. This will always be, I think, a special place and it's important to preserve. It's the history of what we were and are and will be. This feature-length documentary premieres at two public screenings in November. The first takes place at the Granada Theater in Emporia on the 20th anniversary of the Tallgrass Prairie Preserve. That's Saturday, November 12th, beginning at 7 p.m. The second takes place in Manhattan at the Wareham Opera House on Sunday afternoon, November 20th, beginning at 1 p.m., with a reception to follow at the Flint Hills Discovery Center. Thanks to the generous support of Richard Porter, these screenings are free and open to the public, but there's limited seating and reservations are recommended.